straight away saving time so that we can solve more problems i i am sure that by now you all know how to draw a hexagon so the top view of a hexagonal prism is always a hexagon so here i have a hexagon of uh, side 20 mm so this side is 20 mm and i will label it now this point coincides to two points one is at the base and one is at the top so i am going to name it as a1 and a2 b1 and b2 c1 and c2 whereas uh, where a1 will be the top point the point which will be there at the top and a2 will be the point which will, will be at the base so i have a1 and a2 b1 and b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 e1 e2 and finally f1 and f2 so these are the six points that i have the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to extend the projectors of these points upwards okay so i extended the line upwards and these are the projectors that are there now i will create a base so this is what this is the top view tv that denotes depicts top view now i am going to draw the front view now the front view of the prism would be a kind of a rectangle with visible faces so this is the base that i have drawn now the height is given to me as 70 mm so first i'll draw this 70 mm line so the, this is the 70 mm uh, that is there so i'll join it on top as well okay yeah and as these two lines when we are viewing it from the front that is from uh, this way then this uh, b1 b2 and c1 c2 will be visible lines and f1 and f2 and x uh, e1 uh, sorry this uh, this point would be visible that is uh, in front of us this point will again be visible that is in front of us and b1 and b2 point will cover f1 and f2 and c1 and c2 point will cover uh, e1 and e2 so when i draw these lines that are there on their projectors then i have my hexagonal prism now the next that i need to do is that i need to mark this as 70 mm which is there Seventy mm, and I need to mark this. So I said the base would be A two, B two, C two, D two, E two, and F two. So I'll mark the base first. This is A two, B two, C two, D two. Then again, uh, I marked A A two, B two, C two, D two. Now. Yes, uh, C2 also covers E2. So I'll C2 and E2 will be same points on the base, but they will be actually behind. C E2 will be actually behind C2, and B2 will cover F2. F2 is absolutely behind uh, this B2, and on top again the same thing will happen. I will start by naming it as A1, B1, C1, D1. And then move in the opposite order and I name it as E1 and F1. And all these will be dash. That is A2 dash, B2 dash, C2 dash, D2 dash, E2 dash, F2 dash and uh, E2, uh, F2 dash. And A1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash, D1 dash, E1 dash and finally F1 dash. 
so this is the prism that I have now what I need to do is I need to uh, draw develop the surface that how this has been created so let's see what is happening here is that I have this one plane two plane three plane four plane five plane and six plane so six sides constitute to uh, make a, a hexagon so I'll try to make this foil as this is so I'll show you I'll do I'll have six see I'll fold it into six parts one two three four oh uh, it's do it a bit more short one two three four five and six okay so six pieces I folded it in now what I'll do is so this has been connected in this way now if you can see from the top it will be some kind of a hexagon that I have and if I place it right on top of it it covers it so when I place it this way and I keep one end here and I take the other end and I put it exactly on paper then what can you see can you see these lines one two three four five six seven can you see these lines these lines are visible right so this is a this is b this is c this is d this is e this is f and finally we have a again because the two endpoints that we have are the same so the my point is that these two centimeters when multiplied by six gives us this why six say each side is of two centimeters and we have six sides one two three four five and six right so this is why we will have a rectangle here which will be equal to height of 70 mm and it will have uh, the total length would be uh, 20 into six sides that is 120 mm that is equivalent to what that is equivalent to 12 centimeters so what i'll do is I will draw a straight line of 12 centimeters uh, first I'll draw the projectors from this this line and this line and then I will draw a line which is exactly parallel to this which is 70 mm so this is the first line that I say that is a dash a2 dash so I will name it as uh, wait, I'll name it as A1 and A2 right now I will have a 12 centimeter long line that is 120 mm And I will connect the endpoints as well. Now I have this A1 and A2, and the last uh, will also be A1 and A2. So then, what I need to do is I need to measure this two centimeters, and I need to mark successive arcs. From here, I'll mark two centimeters. Keeping here, I will mark two centimeters. Keeping here, I'll mark two centimeters. 2 centimeters and finally 2 centimeters again I'll do the same from here
and now what I'll join these lines right and I will name them in sequence B2 C2 D2 E2 F2 and this will be A2 again B1 C1 D1 E1 F1 and again we have A1 now Again, I'll mention why this A1 and A2 have been repeated because this A1 and A2 will come and join and will be the one one single point itself. Uh, because I'm separating the surface, that's why I have the two edges as this. These are this is A1 and A2. This is again A1 and A2. So when I join this surface, then it both becomes a single line. So this is basically uh, interpreting the single line that is A1 and A2. And here, I'll I'll mark what surfaces that this is 70 mm and each of this segment is 20 mm so this is my solution of the first question that I have which says that uh, develop a lateral surface of a uh, hexagonal prism of side 20 mm and height 70 mm let's move on to the second problem the second problem is a little bit similar to this uh, solution but there is a slight difference it is instead of being a hexagonal prism that it is a cylindrical uh, it's a cylinder of base diameter 42 mm and height 80 mm and it is resting on HP on its base we have to draw the uh, development of the curved surface of the cylinder now let me make one thing very clear the only difference that will be there between uh, the first problem that we solved and the second problem is that we will actually have to calculate the circumference area now why we will have to calculate the circumference area in the first problem what happened was we were given uh, six sides six linear sides were given to us and we could easily uh, measure 2 centimeters 6 times and uh, that is 20 centimeters uh, 20 mm 6 times and we got 120 mm now what happens uh, what is happening here is that I'm given a cylinder now when I'm given a cylinder the dimension that is given to me it's the height of the cylinder is given to me and the next thing that is given to me is the diameter of the cylinder not the circumference of the cylinder what I require is the circumference of the cylinder because only when I know the distance between these two points I will not be able to know what is the length of my lateral surface that I have to develop so I will have to calculate that bit the rest of the part remains the same if it is cylinder then it has a circular base and a circular top and the height is given as a rectangle as we are doing in all the problems that we are doing so let's uh, start with problem number two the solution for problem number two problem number two right so I have a cylinder so the top view would be a circle of diameter 42 mm and height food uh, and the, the front view would be a rectangle which will have 42 mm as the base and 42 mm has a top and the height will be uh, between the base and the top will be 80 mm so let me first draw it uh, again I'm mentioning that uh, we are drawing it in the first uh, we are drawing this in uh, first angle so my top view will come below my front view so 40 mm is my diam 42 mm is my diameter so 2.1 uh, sorry 21 mm would be what would be my uh, this radius or you can say that uh, 21 uh, 2.1 centimeters would be my uh, radius so I have selected this as a center O and I'll keep my pointed end at uh, center there and I will draw a circle of radius uh, 21 mm and diameter 42 mm and using my sketch pen I will make it dark so that it is more visible to all of you
ओके ये राइट नाउ आई विल डिवाइड द सर्कल इनटू एट पार्ट्स फर्स्ट यू शुड डिवाइड इट यूजिंग योर प्रोजेक्टर प्रोटेक्टर आइदर योर प्रोटेक्टर आइदर योर कॉम्पस आइदर वन ऑफ देम so that you have a uniform segment which is created because that is required i am just uh, doing it directly to save time so that we can solve more number of problems so this has been divided into eight parts so i will uh, name them now again here we have the base and the top so i will have a1 a2 so a1 a2 B1, B2, C1, C2, D1, D2, E1, E2, F1, F2, G1, G2, and finally I have uh, H1 and H2. Right? As I do always, I will extend the projectors upwards. from all these points it's a bit slant so i'll make correct it yeah now i have to make 8 cm so i'll first see from where can i get my 8 cm so i have to take my base as uh, close as here i'll first draw a straight line now from here i'll draw 8 cm of my line again 8 cm and i'll connect them i'm sorry that it has overlapped the problem that i wrote and i will also make the inner lines now yeah these lines which are there are not actually visible lines these are just projector lines so these lines won't